Hi and welcome back to class of product development and entrepreneurship. I am Hitesh Rayani, assistant professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. This is lecture 12, design for manufacturing. The learning outcomes of this lecture is to learn the basic concept of design for manufacturing and design for manufacturing method. So first we learn the uh, design for manufacturing concepts and then we learn uh, design for manufacturing method. So let's we start the design for manufacturing. So before we start the design for manufacturing, uh, uh, I just uh, say that uh, before you learn in machine designs, so you uh, learn the design for the stand, design for the stiffness, etc. But you never uh, learn the design for manufacturing and design for assemblies. In design for strength, uh, you have you have to design the component uh, when it is subjected to load and uh, whatever the stress produced on that component, that must be the within the permissible limit or below the yield, yield stress. So in uh, design for stiffness, you are uh, you are doing the design of component or a design of product such as that. Uh, uh, the deformations of that component when it is subjected to load is within the permissible limit of the uh, deflection. So it is the designs you learn in uh, uh, machine designs. Now uh, in advanced machine designs, there are considered design for manufacturing and design for assembly. It is nothing but the uh, design of the components such that uh, the component design is done by considering the aspect of manufacturing and assembly and this both the design for manufacturing and assembly uh, design for manufacturing and design for assemblies are the integrated to each other so design for manufacturing and design for assemblies are the integrations of product designs and process planning into one common activities here I saw the design uh, concepts or uh, design process and uh, design uh, uh, process start with the concept designs and then the design for assemblies and design for manufacturing. This design for assemblies and design for manufacturing both are the integrated and done by Savasa. You can see here in the uh, left side figures. And after the design for manufacturing and design for assemblies, uh, the detailed design is uh, considered and the right side figures you can see that design for manufacturing and assembly process so above there are design for assemblies dfa means design for assemblies and for design for assemblies we have to consider the criteria like minimize number of parts and optimize the assembly so the optimizations is uh, done uh, with the assembly so uh, we can uh, reduce the assembly cost and uh, here the below there are dfm that is the design for manufacturing and in this uh, design for manufacturing we have to consider the manufacturing aspect like manufacturing cost reducing reducing of manufacturing cost and uh, whatever for that whatever we have to choose that is the best process we have to choose best material we have to consider uh, we have to uh, choose the appropriate tolerance and uh, we have to optimize the process of manufacturing so these are the uh, design for uh, assemblies and design for manufacturing process design for manufacturing is the method of engineering design such that products are easy to manufacture so when we have to design the products or developing any products by considering the design for manufacturing we have to keep in mind that the product uh, or pro of component uh, is manufactured easily and also it is it is focus on the reductions of manufacturing cost so uh, when we design any components the manufacturing cost mm -hmm. of that component must be as uh, less here i saw the block diagrams of manufacturing system so as uh, we know that the main design for manufacturing is focus on easy to manufacturing and uh, easy, uh, manu reducing the manufacturing cost so to understand the DFM, we have to understand the first manufacturing system. 
So here I source the manufacturing system which shows the input and output. Here the output is the finished goods and waste materials and input as we know that when we have to produce any products we need the whatever the contents whatever the elements that is the input. Here I uh, for the manufacturing system the input is the raw materials, labor, purchase component. So and uh, also we need uh, to produce the products, uh, equipment, informations and toolings. Also to run the equipment we need energy, supplies and service. So these are the inputs given to the manufacturing systems and output of that manufacturing system is the finished uh, goods and the best materials. So next is the uh, elements of manufacturing cost. So you know that uh, manu uh, design for manufacturing is a concept uh, when we uh, do the design based on DFM. It is on uh, focusing on easy to manufacturing and reducing the manufacturing cost. So for that we have to understand the cost of manufacturing. So here the manufacturing cost is uh, divided into three elements. The uh, figure shows the element of manufacturing cost. So first uh, uh, manufacturing cost is the component cost, second is the assembly cost and third is the overhead cost. In the first element that is the component there are two types of cust uh, customs and the second is the standard. And to make the custom component we need the raw materials, processing and tooling. Uh, if you are looking the second element of manufacturing cost that is the assembly cost there are the two elements in assembly cost first is the labor cost and second is the equipment and tooling cost if you look at the third element uh, of manufacturing cost there are two uh, elements supports and indirect materials so these are the manufacturing cost elements and we uh, know that uh, design for manufacturing is uh, focusing by the considering the reducing the manufacturing cost. So this is the helpful in uh, design for manufacturing. So uh, what is the objectives of design for manufacturing process or uh, you can say the uh, uh, design for manufacturing process step. So there, here are the five steps plus in integrations. Uh, process for the design for manufacturing and you can say that there are the five objectives for the design for manufacturing. The first is the estimate the manufacturing cost, uh, second is the reducing the cost of component, third is reducing the cost of assembly, fourth is the reducing the cost of supporting uh, productions and fifth is the consider the impact of design for manufacturing decision on the other factors. So these are the five steps or you can say the five objectives of design for manufacturing. So let's we start the design for manufacturing method. So here I show the block diagrams of design for manufacturing method and you can see here in a flow chart the uh, design process start with the proposed designs and after the uh, estimations the manufacturing cost as uh, the design for manufacturing is concerned with the manufacturing cost. So first after the proposed designs the first step is to uh, estimate the manufacturing cost. After the estimations of manufacturing cost uh, next step is to reduce the cost of component, reduce the cost of assemblies and reduce the cost of supporting productions. So these are the three elements of manufacturing cost and we have to reduce uh, these three elements of manufacturing cost. So after reducing these all the uh, manufacturing cost, next step is to consider the impact of design for manufacturing decisions on the other factors. So whatever these changes are done according to the design for manufacturing decisions, uh, the impact of that decisions on other factors we have to check and recompute the manufacturing cost. If it is uh, good enough then uh, design is accepted and if it is not good enough then the, uh, the we have to go uh, to the step 2 and repeat this whole process until we get the uh, manufacturing cost as we uh, required. So these are the uh, design for manufacturing methods and we have to follow while we do the component according to the design for manufacturing.
So in this lecture, we learn the basic concepts of design for manufacturing and uh, the methods of uh, methods for the design for manufacturing. And uh, in our next lectures, we will learn the which are the guidelines uh, used to design for manufacturing. Thank you. Thank you.